When it comes to pick choice, I would totally recommend just going for a basic pick shape. You can get some really small picks and you can get some large picks, but until you've really found what's comfortable and how to hold it with the basic shape, I wouldn't recommend experimenting with the others just yet. They come in different weights. You'll notice that some have a T printed on there for thin, they also come in medium and heavy, and that just means how bendy the pick is. The thin ones, it used to be that they'd be recommended for beginners, but I, I wouldn't suggest that that's too much the case. I would go for a medium or a heavy. That would be probably the best for most styles. And in terms of material, because picks can come in plastic, they can come in metal. Again, just go for a basic plastic pick, or Delrin it's called. You can also get nylon, and I use silver picks quite a lot. They have a really nice tone as well. But for now, basic shape, medium or heavy, and just a basic standard material. Now, when it comes to holding the pick, you want to make sure that there's no tension. Same as when you sit in your chair, you want to be as relaxed as you can. So, just hold the arm up, just the forearm. You can even rest the elbow on the guitar if you like. And just let the wrist flop down. Now, just naturally, just relax, just bring the, the hand upwards, and you'll notice, it's really weird, but you'll notice that the first finger and the thumb naturally pull together. So that means for us, that when we're holding the pick in between these fingers, we don't want to fight that natural tension that the hand gives us anyway. So you want to have the hand coming straight down from the corner, just as relaxed as possible. Now when it comes to holding the pick in the fingers, just make a loose fist with your hand. So again, not much tension, but you obviously need to be in control. So just a loose fist, you don't want to really be gripping it, just a loose fist. And then on the side of the first finger, the index finger, just put the pick, just rest it on there with the other hand. Now if the, the finger is facing south, in other words towards you, you want the plectrum to be facing west so to your left and then just rest and relax and just hold it down with the thumbprint and again you can do a little bit of wiggling because when it comes to the posture it's not the law you can change it to whatever's comfortable for you so it's the side of the index finger and it's the print of the thumb and what you want is your thumb to not overextend too much past the pick because that will give you really weird tension and there'll be some techniques that you won't be able to do Things like palm muting will be difficult, pinching will be difficult. So it's the print of the thumb and it's the side of the first finger. And if the video, I'm sure the video is helpful, but also check out in the PDF manual, there's some pictures of each step of holding the pick too. So once that's in place and your hands down, we're good to go. Remember where we rest is it's a cross between the karate chop and just coming around to the palm and they rest where the fat strings just come from the guitar. You don't want to be resting too low, you don't want to be resting too high. And remember if you come too low this way, you're going to be giving yourself a wrist bend and that's going to start to not only give you a funny tension, but you're going to be holding the pick wrong. So, corner, forearm, side of the first finger, thumbprint, karate chop, and you're ready to go. The reason we rest with the karate chop again, we're not fighting in the natural flow, it's as easy as it can be. And we need to be accurate, that's why we rest, so the hand learns where it's going to be picking. So things like Mission Impossible, you'll get in week one. The idea is to just keep watching this hand, and ideally trust this one. It might take a couple of days, but you'll start to get the feel for where the strings are. When it comes to chords and strumming, you want to be freer because you're catching more than one string. In fact, usually you're catching all the strings. So in that case, you're not resting your hand. This is for lead work, and then this is for chord work. There's exceptions, there's always exceptions, but as a general rule, lead, chords. But still resting on the corner here when it comes to strumming. So you want to be bending from here, still as relaxed as possible. Okay, now some people have mentioned that when they begin, and it happened to me too, that the pick can turn round. 
it can like rotate between the first finger and the thumb. So if that does happen, hold the, the thumb against the first finger still, but also maybe include the second finger. Just gives you a bit more weight and it stops the pick having the choice to rotate. But as you get more strong, and funnily enough more relaxed because it's a case of holding it tight, but relaxing so it twists. So then you'll find that you can just go back to the first finger and the thumb. And the last thing to say is experiment. And even experiment with no pick. There'll be some songs that you need a pick for, and in fact I would say most songs, in fact every song on the course, but most songs in contemporary guitar, they use a plectrum. There's some techniques, some picking in and some strumming, and even some funk ideas that you can't get without a pick. Certainly some of the faster things. But it might come down to tone. This is the sound without a pick, this is just with the thumb and the, the fingers. <laughs> sure that if you say oh, I'm not a pick player that you're not coming from a point of living in the comfort zone you want to make sure you practice with the pick and you want to make sure you practice without so that when you decide if you're picky or not you're coming from a balanced point of well I've tried both I can do both and my decision is I prefer whatever some players don't use a pick at all Mark Knopfler doesn't and a lot of country players don't um, and some players always use a pick so on the course, we're always talking about pick playing, uh, and then you can experiment otherwise. Okay, so that's, that's it. Have fun, and be sure before we start the course that you've checked out the posture about holding the guitar, and you've also checked out how to set the amp up. Okay, have fun.